Hello. Today I will discuss about uh, technical debt and handling it when customers raise concern about uh, quality. So it's a very common challenge for any scrum team and you might wonder that as a scrum master can we actually help the team with technical debt given that the uh, developers own the technical decision and the sprint backlog. The answer is yes, you can. So I would like to share my experience, which I had a, had as a scrum master working with a team on handling the technical data and uh, customer quality concerns. So during a sprint planning, um, I was there and I noticed that um, a debate was going, uh, going on with the developer and the product owner. Uh, because uh, the developer wanted to um, allocate some capacity to um, refactor the fragile code to prevent the future quality issues. So recalling, uh, they were recalling a past uh, sprint uh, that were uh, building on the top of a unstable code that led to ultimately canceling the sprint. So to avoid that, um, our developer wanted to give some priority on those type of uh, work as well. So the product owner was kind of under pressure to prioritize the new feature uh, because uh, that had to be delivered to the stakeholders. So uh, when, when I found that uh, this conversation is going uh, kind of back and forth, so I stepped in to facilitate the discussion. So to shift the tone, what I did, I asked my developer that, uh, and the product owner also, that um, how many of you use credit card? So everyone uh, replied that they all use it. So my uh, next uh, question to them was like, if you have a, a date on the credit card, uh, would you, prioritize paying it off first or you will continue buying um, until it reached the maximum credit limit. So they all agreed that um, paying the bill first would be the first priority to all of them. Now I uh, added a twist on my previous question, like uh, suppose your bank is offering you uh, to buy a new phone, like some discount on to buy a new phone uh, now uh, with, with the credit card. Now what will be your uh, priority? So uh, uh, one of the developer replied that uh, still pay the bill will be our first priority. Otherwise, uh, kind of we will risk the um, we will risk the higher interest, uh, uh, or we might damage our credit score for the future use. So I then explained them that imagine that credit card debt as your technical debt, the bank as your stakeholder, and the credit score as your reputation with the client. So ignoring the technical debt can lead to uh, long-term consequences, right? So this analogy actually helped my team to understand, including the product owner, to understand or to see the importance of balancing uh, feature delivery with the technical data management. So I remember that in that planning meeting, the team uh, reached to a common agreement that going forward, they would allocate some 30% of their capacity to code refract uh, refractory to prevent the accumulation of technical debt. And they also agreed to consider if required, like kind of pair programming, uh, or mm, like automating the mm, test suit, more automation uh, testing um, to adjust this all kind of um, quality issues. So, so to conclude this, I will say that um, though how to minimize the technical debt is 
ultimately a developer decision but as a scrum master you can still facilitate a productive um, discussion to help both the product owner and the developer to understand uh, the value of making an occasional short term adjustment or compromises for long term benefit so it was my uh, real time experience which i just shared with you if you like this session please do uh, subscribe our channel and hit the like button thank you